does one of the most accomplished men in European history become forgotten? Joseph Bologna, Chevalier of Saint-Georges, virtuoso violinist, master composer, best fencer in Europe, crusader against slavery, and general of the first black regiment in military history. His story must be told, and perhaps his time is now. My fascination with the Chevalier of Saint-Georges began with a historical footnote that he was actually roommates with Mozart in 1778 in Paris. Saint-Georges was 10 years his senior and was helping Mozart navigate the rough terrain trying to find a job. Mozart's mother had just died and this relationship started a love affair with these two characters and with Saint-Georges' entire life. At the same time, he becomes Marie Antoinette's private music teacher, and they develop a long-standing friendship that spans from 1777, 1778, all the way up through the French Revolution, when the politics of the revolution completely takes over Paris and the rest of Europe. How did you learn to play like that? You keep changing the subject. No, I am not. You're this famous swordsman, all manly virtue everywhere. Then suddenly you debut as the fastest fiddler in Paris. Besides, it simply defies belief that you would be beavering away on your violin for so long with natural athletic prowess burning a hole in your heart. And no, no one ever heard you practice. No one even knew you played. No one asked. Chevalier. They are actually not that different. The foil and the bow. The world sees the arm, but the skill is in the wrist. The whole world is in there. It is the same. Fluidity. Being such a prominent black man in France at the time of such severe racism, not to mention a member of the nobility, as Chevalier, he is knight of the king. The Chevalier is arrested, sent to prison with no charge. The Red Terror occurs, the guillotine reigns, Marie Antoinette is killed, the Chevalier rots in prison. But in 1794, from prison, slavery is finally abolished in France. His activism has won. 